Good afternoon, I'm Tiro, and let's play clean up my disk drive because I have too much information on it. Nah, it's not information, it's video file. Yeah, I've been taking a lot of these clips from Amazing Island, and it's about 10 gigs. It's only about 50 clips, but uh, you know, it can add up. So I just converted them and uh, publishing them now. Uh, and as you can see, this is just more of the monster editor uh, auto-creating. And the purpose of this is so that you guys can get an idea of what you can do with the monsters. And sometimes you just wonder what the heck they were thinking. Yeah, you don't have to be a great designer, just something simple as, you know, squares or um, little rectangles or waves can get some interesting stuff. But as for cleaning up my disk space, yeah, um, when I do my LPs, I uh, take a, you know, care about what I do and I have a lot of preparation. Of course, you never see it because that's um, off screen and camera and such. Yeah, but then this is kind of bad because I'm doing, oh, let's see, FFL3, Crystal Chronicles Weekly, I still have the Garo Tournament hanging around until the semifinals. Yeah, I made it to the semifinals, ugh. And now this. So, basically I've turned to Tatsudoshi. Yeah, that's right, I'm talking about you on camera, yeah. First you're doing Kendo Rage, and then you're doing let's randomly play Ice Climbers, and then Super World, and now you've had good idea, bad idea, you're just all over the place. And that can be confusing to, uh, viewers. At least they don't know what to expect when, why, and where. Consistency. Mark of a good LP here. Same thing as if, uh, treating the audience as if they were there in person, such as you, Tatsudoshi. Yeah, that's right, I'm talking to you yet again. You must thoroughly break the fourth wall with a sledgehammer, and then take the space time continuum, give it a wedgie, and then whip it right into the trash. Mm -hmm. so I guess I should do more commentary about what's going on here. If I recall correctly, what we started off with was the humanoid frames. That's what these little skeleton things are called frames. And we moved on to the quadrupeds. Basically, the quadrupeds were a dog, and now we're at the horses. And see, there's an example of something interesting, you know, two circles, a cube, and little zigzags. And here's the same thing for the hind leg. So you don't even have to draw a monster, you just give me the little patterns. Because it's simple, it's like arm, leg, tail, body, head. That's it. Tell me front to side, and uh, what accessories. Although I don't know what to do with the patterns, because uh, for that example, that was a parrot, but it kind of looked like a skunk when it came out. And now to the hero type frames, which I despise because I had about, oh, 15 of them. Yeah, that's a lot for the takes I was getting. Just too many of them, they're all the same weird, junky stuff. Like, I want to show all of them. No, the game kept giving me to them. And this is a random number generator. I'm just using Perl script just uh, to crunch out the numbers. It seems when I try to be, you know, consistent, that's uh, in answering the questions, or like say my personality, or let's say a friend. It's when we get the variety. Yes, we have excellent music in this game, which is why I'm uh, displaying it now in the recording. Very seldom do I get actually head bobbing or dancing. Not that I can dance, but when I first played this or turned it on, I was like, hmm, this is a nice rhythm. And yet again, we have the little circle ball style. Sorry for repeated uh, monster heads and frames, or I should say uh, patterns. I try to create variety, but like I said, it just keeps giving me the same stuff. And that just er eggs me on more and more to see if I can actually crack the personality quiz. Because it keeps getting, you know, I have like three monsters and they have the same type of head, you know. 
little circles of the arms, or they're really bubbly, or... Look, this is the second time we've seen this foot already. Not that you care. And I think we're out of time. So, I have another video, so see you in about 20 seconds.